In this uh, video, we'll talk about chromosomal theory of inheritance. Up till now, we have talked of genes and the genes getting inherited from one generation to the next. Mendelian way also and the variations also. Here we are seeing the same thing in a different perspective. Just to have a little idea about what has happened before this uh, theory was given. In 1865, Mendel published his work. Mendel's work was published. But this work went unrecognized for quite some time. In 1900, three scientists, we have talked about their contribution also, and these three scientists actually redid Mendel's work, and that's when it was recognized. Recognition of Mendel's work due to the contribution of uh, three scientists like Korans and all and in 1902 this chromosomal theory of inheritance was given by Sutton and Bowberry. The reason for Mendel's work remaining unrecognized for quite some time was uh, one, at that time Darwin's work was going on, Mendel was a mathematician and biologist did not accept his contribution in biology. Plus, when he called those genes as factors, there was no physical evidence that these things actually existed. So his work remained like that for years. So by this time, that is 1902, Microscopes were discovered, the structure of cell, nucleus and even chromosome was understood. So, Sir Tom and Bowberry interpreted what Mendel has said in a different perspective. So, let us try and compare these two point of views. One, which was given by Mendel and second, which was given by Sir Tom and Bowberry. So, we are trying to compare what Mendel said with what is a new perspective in uh, terms of chromosomes. Mendel said that the genes which he called factors are present in pairs. So factors are in pairs. Sutton and Bowery said that these factors which we now know as genes are present on chromosomes and these chromosomes are also present in pairs. So they said chromosomes which have these genes or factors are also in pair, are in pairs. This pair is known as homologous pair. Here we know that the two forms of the same gene or factor, they are known as alleles. And here in terms of chromosome, they are known as homo logus chromosomes. So what Mendel was trying to say was that the factor or the genes they are present in two forms a dominant and a recessive one and here also they said that these genes which are present on a physical structure the chromosome they are also present in pairs. The second point which Mendel had said was that these alleles segregate or separate at the time of gamete formation. So factors separate at the time of gamete formation. Same thing happens when we are talking in terms of chromosomes. So Sutton and Bovary said that these chromosomes they also separate at the time of gamete formation. We know that during meiosis the homologous pair they arrange on the equatorial plane. One gets pulled towards one pole and the other gets pulled towards the other pole and that is how the number of chromosome is reduced to half. 
So they are separating at the time of gamete formation. So according to Sudan and Bogari, chromosomes of the homologous pair separate during gamete formation. Exactly same thing, but now here it is in terms of chromosomes. The third point which Mendel said about these factors was that these factors or genes can independently assort themselves. We have discussed all those things in details. So, alleles or factors assort independently. That means, if we just take an example to recap, there is a gene A and A, other gene B and B. That means A can go with B. This allele of one gene can assort itself with any of the two alleles of the other gene. And this A can go with the small or recessive gene. This is what we meant by assort independent. So when Mendel was talking about this independent assortment, he was mentioning about the factors. And Sutton and Bovary said that chromosomes also assort themselves independently. Again, let us understand this. Say this is one homologous pair and this is moving on this side. Here gene A and small a is present and the other chromosome has the other gene. For example, this one. So here B and B, these are the genes. That means when we are talking of independent assortment, the capital or dominant A containing chromosome can go with dominant B containing chromosome or this can also go with the recessive gene containing chromosome. So that exactly means the same. But here we are talking in terms of chromosome. So here chromosomes assort themselves independently. So everything was what Mendel was trying to say is same to same said by Sutton and Bovary. Only difference is Mendel was talking about some small structure which he was referring to as factors which we know as genes and nobody paid attention towards these things because there was no physical evidence of these structures. But once the chromosome structure was identified and people knew that this is the place where the genes are placed and during cell division the chromosomal movement was also observed. So this modified version made its impact on people. And that is why when we are talking of inheritance, we said inheritance is the science which deals with passing on of genes from one generation to the next. Here, we are saying that it is inheritance of genes which are located on the chromosomes. So it is the chromosome which is get, carrying these genes from one generation to the next. And that is why the theory is known as chromosomal theory of inheritance.